Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how I use ABGX um, to patch any of my files. Uh, this ABGX actually comes with a tutorial and they make it very easy uh, to, to, to see what to do um, and, and, and explaining everything. But if you're like me and you'd like to see someone actually doing the act, like doing it on a computer, then this might be able to help you. Now the first thing that I do is I like all the settings that ABGX normally already has. The only thing I like to do is make sure that it's on level three. This means that if any if anything is like wrong or uh, if anything is not verified in your read of the game, uh, level three will fix it. And it's it's basically the the highest threshold, meaning that even the, like the slightest deviations will will cause it to be flagged, and um, it'll go ahead and fix it for you. So I like to keep it like that. If you're not on level three, like say you're on level two or something, and you want to keep it on level three, for all future um, time you use ABGX, you can press Control S, or I'm not sure how you do it on the Mac, or even if ABGX works on the Mac. But control S on the on the PC, and if you enter it as default, this will cause them to be loaded every time ABGX is launched. So I I go ahead and put it on level three and save that, and that's how I how I have my um uh, settings. I don't have any of these clicked because I don't like to do that. ABGX does it for me. Um, as far as the options, I have verify of stealth passes and. Um, and check and create the DVD file. So let's go ahead and get to your ISO image file. So here I have prototype 2. Um, if you go ahead and click on prototype 2 uh, or, or your, any ISO image file, I mean to say your game file, you click open and it'll come up here. Then you go ahead and click launch and it's as simple as that. ABGX will go ahead and run this for you and you'll notice that I have lots of green that's because I've actually run this game through ABGX before uh, when you initially run it through you might see like yellow or red or anything like that but as long as it ends up turning into green you should be fine um, and I mean that's really all there is to it is checking all these values uh, I, I don't really want to go into the technicality of everything but basically ABGX does everything for you it's super simple to use um, you can download it from this website I can actually pull it up abgx360.net and then you just go to download right here on the le right, left hand side and you can install it from Hotfile or uh, Dropbox and then I guess it does work for Macs as well um, and, and even Linux but so it is really easy to use. You just install it. You go ahead and get to uh, this thing, the ABGX GUI, this graphical user interface. Double click it, and of course it'll open this up. And again, um, auto fix on level three, and you just click on this button to open it to whatever ISO image file you want to go ahead and run it through. And if it's all green, and um, if it's all green, then it should be fine to fine to use on a uh, on Xbox Live the only time it wouldn't be fine is if the uh, iXtreme firmware is not up to date um, if either a new dashboard came out or if you just don't have the latest iXtreme uh, but that's another whole video so basically if you have all green you're good to go green is good that's all there is to it thank you and if this helped you in any way please push the like button if you have any questions leave them in the comments box um, and have a good day. Take care. Bye. Real quick, um, sorry about that. I forgot to mention the checking game CRC. This takes a little bit of time, about 10 to 15 minutes, I think. Uh, it took me 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, and as long as this also comes out green and it says press any key to exit, you're fine and you're good to go. And you're ready to burn that game and ABGX is done. So that's all there is to it. Um, once again, if you like the video, please like it, and thank you very much for watching it. Take care. Bye.